In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite plays out of the bunch tied in in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching this video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. We do that through tips and tricks every single day here on the channel. Uh, tips like this one that we're about to dive into, which is basically a, a route combo that you can use out of the bunch tight end that will really, truly, I believe, help you move the ball down the field a little bit better against some of the popular defenses that you're going to face. We also do that through studying pro players, through playing, studying game plays, and all that stuff. So again, if you want to get better at this game, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I believe this place, this channel, uh, will be able to help you do just that. Now, uh, really quickly here, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the bunch tight end and why I think it is such a good offense. The reason why I think it's such a good offense is, is because it, it, it has the specific routes to me that are like super, super important to have in an offense. It has the man beaters. It has the zone beaters. It has the, the coverage busters, right? I mean, this thing is a beast. And, and, and the, the way that I'm going to talk about it with you today is out of the gun bunch tight end out of the run heavy playbook. Now, there's a specific reason why I recommend the run heavy play, playbook, especially if you're going to be running a lot of gun bunch tight end. And really, truly, it's for um, the fact that you can get the play curl flat corner and then you can also get to play inside switch, but the play that is really, really vital to this scheme that really does help it get better is to be able to have the play curl flat corner and also to play tight end corner. This play is a beast. It's one of the best plays in the entire game, and I'm going to show you um, a way to run it today that is going to make it truly unstoppable and a very nice complement to the PA all cross play out of the gun bunch tight end. This is one of the ultimate constraint three plays. It's very similar to the curl flat out of the trips tight end. So that being said, if you guys have any questions, you can always text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And if you want to get the full ebook, a lot of people have said that this is the best offense in the game that have picked up my full bunch tight end ebook. That link is in the description of this video. Okay, so how do you run this, and how do you run this well? Well, first and foremost, we need to start with beating man-to-man -man coverage because a lot of a lot of people in the community right now are basically running man coverage, and then they're using their middle linebacker. It's what I would do, and it's what a lot of people are doing as a base defense. So this play does beat man-to-man -man coverage fairly well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to smart route Tavon Austin. We're going to streak our tight end. We're going to take Aaron Jones and we're going to put him on basically a little swing route to the right side of the screen or a block and release, either one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Marquez Valdez Scantling and I'm going to put him on a slant route. And then I'm going to basically put Devontae Adams is going to almost always be on a whip route or a uh, little flat route to the back side. And what you'll see here is let's say they're running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to see that this circle receiver is going to absolutely torch man coverage over the middle of the field. Like really, really well. As you can see, I mean, he just torches man-to-man -man coverage. The next thing that you're going to notice um, with, this, with this route combination right here that we're going to create is this route to the, this, this whip route or the slant route should be open. One of these two routes to the sideline uh, should be open. So if they're press coveraging, then typically the the slant route will be open. If they're shading coverage back, like if they're if they're calling their man coverage and then they're doing something like they're shading their coverage off and they're putting the purple zones out there to try to stop that that post route, that's where this little whip route is going to come in handy. It's really good against off coverage. And so if people are, are running a lot of off coverage, um, you can do this right here uh, to them, both the whip route and the slant route are open. One other thing that I didn't talk a little bit, talk very much about, and I think it's actually going to be really critical uh, to use this, this route combination in regs. A lot of people are trying to figure out their regs offensive scheme now because the tournament is on regs now. What you're going to see here is this, a similar route combination. We're going to make one little change. We're just going to put the running back on an option route. And what you'll know against C is against man coverage, uh, he will kill man-to-man. -man. As you can see right there, um, he just beats man to the outside for an easy, easy gain. So now you have a couple different routes that can really work well against man. So the next thing, the next natural thing that the defense is going to do is they're going to run some zone, right? Some Mabel coverage, stuff like that, and see if you can beat your zone coverage. That's where this play really, really shines, in my opinion. So you get that same setup, that same combo. But what you'll notice here is this route to Tavon Austin 
it is probably the best zone beater in the entire game. All you're going to do is basically low pass it as it gets to the sideline, pass it outside, and as you can see, this thing is wide open. And like I said, this is truly one of the best routes to beat zone defense in the entire game. Uh, I can't think of a better route. It's better than the crossing route. It's better than the motion. Um, it's better than the, the corner route to Devontae Adams on that side. I mean, this route is just amazing. It's a really, really, really good route to be able to beat man coverage with. The other thing is you have that low ball slant as it crosses the formation, right? If they're running hard flats and they're running um, if they're if they're running hard flats and they're running curl flats, then this little slant flat concept right here is going to be wide open for you. The sl the flat's going to pull all the zones out. And then you have that little low ball right in there to be able to hit that little slant route against the zone coverage as well if you need to. Now, again, another way that you could run this, let's say that you don't want to have to motion Valdez scantling across, right? Another way you could run this is simply doing something just like this right here. And this is very similar to the curl flat setup out of the uh, tri out of the trip side. And as you can see, it's just a curl. It's literally a curl flat concept. Um, this curl flat concept will do really, really good uh, against zone coverage, pretty much any zone coverage, they're going to have to put three different zones on the left side to be able to stop it, and they're going to have to put several different zones on the right side to be able to stop it. So the reason I say that, uh, or say all of this, is because this play does a phenomenal job of beating zone coverage. You can consistently watch it just work zone coverage, whether it be to the short side uh, or the wide side. Now, uh, right there, I forgot to put the tight end on a streak. It is really important that you put the tight end on the streak. The reason why it's so important is because that's going to clear the zones. The way Cover 3 works now is it pretty much attracts two streaks. If if you run a streak, the Cover 3 will follow it, as you see right there. And it's going to leave that window open for a huge, huge laser um, against that against that defense. So, anyways, guys, that's the tight end corner play. It's one of my favorite plays. There's so many ways to run it, and we break down exactly the top top of the line. Not only ways to run it, but ways and when to use it, and how to use it, and why to use it um, in our Gun Bunch tight end ebook. A lot of people have been having a ton of success. One of the guys um, was telling me that he's been throwing up for over 500 yards uh, passing with this ebook. So if you haven't picked up that that offense yet that link is in the description of this video I want to thank you for watching this video if you have any questions you can always text me my numbers in the description just want to remind you if you want to get the ebook it is in the description of this video and last but not least if you want to come by the stream tonight we'll be streaming with this offense tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time